Good morning students. I hope you all are fine and safe at home. Due to COVID-19, we are providing online classes for you all. So today we are going to learn chapter 1 that is the sentence. First of all, we will discuss about what is sentence. A sentence is a combination of words which make complete sense now here example is given bought he a new car they are different words they combine together but do they are making sense no you don't you are unable to understand what the sentence is talking about so this is not a sentence now the same word we have rearranged it in the second example he bought a new car now this is making a sense so this is a sentence a sentence consists of two parts the first part is called subject and the other part is called predicate suppose in the classes also students are there boy and girl together they form the students so subject and predicate together makes a sentence sentence always begin with a capital letter so the first letter of every sentence should be a capital letter it may have comma ends with a full stop question mark or an exclamation mark now we will discuss about different kinds of sentence there are four different kinds of sentences assertive or declarative sentence interrogative sentence imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence now we will discuss in details about different kinds of sentences here is the sentence which simply affirm or deny something are called assertive or declarative sentence now many of you may not be knowing the meaning of affirm or deny affirm means yes deny means no suppose i ask you during lockdown you were at home you will say yes ma'am i was at home your answer is in yes if i say the color of the apple is blue you will say no ma'am the color of the apple is red means you are denying the color of the apple is not blue okay they provide information and end with a full stop an assertive sentence may be positive or negative now we'll see which all sentence a positive sentence a positive sentence does not contain negative word and it affirm something which is true suppose here example are given there are many flowers in the garden robin is a good batsman ranjana is sleeping now in this various example there is no negative word like not no nor negative word is not there it so this type of sentence is positive sentence now proceeding to negative sentence negative sentence contain negative word it deny something i asked you in the previous slide the color of the apple was blue you said no you denied because the answer was in no so that type of sentence is negative sentence because no it came so common negative words are not no nor etc sania is not skipping the rope here not is present that's why the sentence is negative sentence she may not come no one like war so these type of sentences are negative sentences and as you know at the end of the sentence we have to give full stop interrogative sentence the sentence which ask questions are called interrogative sentence 
Suppose in the ma'am is asking in the class, how many of you have done the homework? Many of you will raise the hand. Many of you will not raise the hand. Okay, so she is asking question in the class. What is your name? That is also a question. So every interrogative sentence ends with a question mark. You are writing question answer in your copy. You are writing, so you are at the last you are giving question mark. Then you write the answer. So here are some example. Do you want to eat an ice cream? What is your name? Is the school far from here? So it, you see here at last of the sentence, in each sentence it is given question mark. So wherever question mark will be there, it is an interrogative sentence. Imperative sentence. The sentence which can which contain some request, command, advice, or order are called imperative sentence. Suppose you didn't bring pencil today and you have to write question answer. So you'll ask from your friend. So what you will say? Please give me your pencil. You will use please word. It's a requesting word. You go to toilet. You ask from your ma'am. Ma'am, may I go to toilet? May is a requesting word. Suppose your teacher is telling during assembly time, make your line straight. Okay, she is giving a command. You have to make your line straight. So that is a command. It is also coming in imperative sentence. The subject is hidden in this kind of sentence. It ends with a full stop. Now here example we will see. Please give me a cup of tea. Please is there. It's a kind of request. So it is an imperative sentence. Do your work. Your ma'am is telling to do the work. She is ordering you. She is giving a command. That is also an imperative sentence. Stand at ease. Order is given. Command is given. You have to stand in a straight line. That comes in an imperative sentence. Exclamatory sentence. The sentence which express some strong feelings or emotions are called exclamatory sentence. Feelings or emotions. Suppose you are taking part in competition and you stood first. You will feel very happy. You will be excited. That is your feeling. Okay. If your mom scolded you for not doing the homework or your ma'am scolded you for not doing the homework, you feel sad. Okay, so that is also a feeling, emotions. So the sentence which show feeling and emotion, it is called exclamatory sentence. Now exclamatory word or sentence ends with an exclamatory mark. Example is again given here. Hooray, we won the match. Now hooray is here the exclamatory word. So after every exclamatory word, we have to give exclamation mark and at the end of the sentence we have to give full stop now second one we'll see what a beautiful place it is a beautiful after seeing a beautiful thing you feel very your feeling is you feel very happy suppose you see a butterfly or a rose you feel very happy okay that is a feeling so here beautiful is a feeling so what a beautiful place is here no exclamatory word it is given but the sentence is exclamatory sentence so at the last we have to give exclamation mark at last it is given alas he is dead if somebody dies you feel sad sorrow okay so here the exclamatory word is alas so at after alas we have to give exclamation mark and at the end of the sentence we have to give full stop. After exclamatory word, if at the end you are not giving full stop, your answer will be wrong. Now at the last, we will see some interesting facts about the sentence. The first fact is here, I am is the shortest complete sentence in the English language. I am is a complete sentence, shortest one. Now the second one, a pangram. Now you might be 
not knowing what is a pangram, what ma'am is saying, pangram, we have not learned. So, pangram is a sentence in which all English alphabet is present, means from A to Z. In one sentence, all the alphabets are present from A to Z. That type of sentence is known as pangram. For example, here it is given, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So, he, in this sentence, all the alphabets are present. So, what kind of sen sentence it is? It is a pangram. So, your homework is, when the school reopens, you will write one more example of pangram in your rough copy and you will show me. Thank you.